If you have 1,200 yards of fencing available, what is the largest rectangular enclosed field you can make if you only need to fence three sides due to a cliff? So let's assume this red side here is the cliff. We want to enclose the largest rectangular field with 1,200 yards of fencing. Let's start by labeling our diagram. Let's go ahead and let the length of this side here equal x. So the opposite side would also be x. And then this side here we'll call y. And we're going to form two equations. One equation that's going to represent the area of the rectangle, which we want to maximize. And then another equation called the constraint, dealing with the amount of fence that we have. So based upon how we labeled this diagram, our constraint would be that x plus y plus x must equal 1,200 yards. Or we can say 2x plus y must equal 1,200. Now the equation that we're trying to maximize is the area equation for this rectangle. So with our rectangle labeled the way it is, the area is going to be equal to x times y. And we want to maximize the area. So we know how to determine the maximum of an equation that's written in terms of one variable, but here we have a written in terms of two variables. So what we'll do is solve the constraint for x or y, and then perform substitution into our area equation. Looking at our constraint, it's going to be easier if we solve this equation for y. The constraint would be y must equal 1,200 minus 2x. And now we can substitute 1,200 minus 2x for y into the area equation, and then we can maximize it. So the area is going to equal x times the quantity, 1,200 minus 2x. And we'll go ahead and distribute. We'll have 1,200x minus 2x squared. So now in order to maximize our area function, we'll determine the critical numbers. And then from there, we can determine the value of x that will maximize the area. So to determine the critical numbers, we'll find the derivative and then determine where it's equal to zero or undefined. The derivative of our area function would be 1,200 minus 4x. Since the derivative exists for all values of x, to determine the critical numbers, we'll set this equal to zero and solve for x. We'll divide by four. So we have x equals 300. Now even though we only obtain one critical number, we should verify that this will produce a maximum value, not a minimum value. And we could do this a couple ways. If we determine the second derivative, we can determine if the function is concave up or down at this value of x. So a double prime is equal to negative four, which means the function is always concave down on the entire interval, which means at the critical number of x equals 300, we do have a relative maximum. So when x is equal to 300, the area is maximized. Now let's go ahead and determine the dimensions of this rectangle as well as the maximum area. Our constraint was 2x plus y must equal 1,200. And we just determined that x is equal to 300. So now we can determine y by performing substitution. 2 times 300 plus y must equal 1,200. So this is 600. So if we subtract 600 on both sides, we have y equals 600. And these are both in yards. So now I can determine the maximum area of this enclosed field. Remember, the area was equal to x times y. So we'll have 300 yards times 600 yards. So the maximum area is going to be equal to 180,000 square yards. Let's go back and label our sketch. This was 300 yards, and so was this. And y was 600 yards. And our area was 180,000 square yards. I hope you found this helpful.